Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Today I want to talk about games. Games are one of my favorite things to source and sell on Amazon. Usually you think of eBay as a collector's marketplace, but I've done really well selling a bunch of collectible vintage games on Amazon. The thing you want to make sure you do is check them out and make sure they're complete before you send them in. My kids love it when I bring home a stack of vintage games from an auction or an estate sale because then they get to check them all out for parts and they get to play them before I send them in. If you're missing any parts, it's usually pretty easy to find them. If you just search on eBay, the name of your game plus the word parts or the word token or dice or cards or whatever you're missing, you can usually find your parts selling for a couple bucks. And if you don't find it, then you can sell your game for parts. Sometimes you can make more money partsing your game out than you can just selling it complete. I want to show you a really cool one I found. This is called the Sinking of the Titanic game. Really cool old vintage game I got. Paid about three bucks at an auction. I should be able to get 50 bucks for it on Amazon. Parts are all there, it's all complete, and check out this board, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing. The boat actually sinks. Ah, Captain, we've hit an iceberg, what are we going to do? Man, the lifeboats, we don't have enough lifeboats, what are we going to do now? Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee. Okay, so maybe the real lesson here is that you need to have your kids check out the games because you're not mature enough to do it yourself. Anyway, leave me some comments, let me know what you're finding in your sourcing.